que, como que de esa forma puedes mejorar el English dentro de la teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Hi, Hi teacher. Sí. Hi Abner, hi Ana, hi Domingo, Ever, Daniel, Kevin, lo extrañamos ayer, Roberto. I'm sorry, hello, teacher. That's okay, Kevin, thank you for joining today. Carlita, hello, and Jorge. All right, how's everybody today? How was your day? Super, super, super good. Very nice. Excellent. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that, Abner, very nice. What about Kevin? How was your day today, Kevin? And so good, so good. All right, that's interesting. Let's see, what about uh, Daniel, your day? How was your day at work today? No teacher, good evening. Well, uh, this day um, um, I have a day off. Tomorrow is I, I will be working. Oh, <laughs> if you had a day off, it was a great day. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. yes. And then tomorrow you have a night shift or a day shift? Uh, day shift, uh, four days, day shift. Oh, that's nice. All right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Then you yes. rest, and then you go back to night shift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Nice. All right. Interesting. Thank you. Ever, your day. How was your day today, Ever? Good evening, teacher. And everyone too. A little busy. I have to, I have to do a different things in the morning, but next in the in the afternoon, so it's, it's a little more slowly. The the, the time is is más tra más tranquilo en la tarde. Okay. Pero en la mañana sí me tocó bastante movidito. Ah, very nice. I'm I'm over a lot. Catedral en frente de catedral entregamos. ¿Cuál es la catedral, hermano? Y así de, ah, qué catedral, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, all right, that's okay. All right, guys, very good. Uy, veo muchos, bueno, la mayoría con cámaras apagadas, ¿cómo es eso? Thank you, Jorquito. A ver, encendámosla. All right. Hmm, interesting. ¿Qué nos está pasando ahora? Thank you, Jorge. Yeah, I can see you, Jorge. Thank you, Vane. I appreciate that. Very nice. All right. Sé que Abner no tiene camarita por ahorita. All right. Carla, Michelle, ¿qué pasó? ¿No le hablaron? <laughs> ¿Cómo no? Eso le iba a decir. Me dijeron de que este, no me podía mover y que me conectara, pero que estuviera con la cámara apagada. Que hasta el otro mes ellos iban, me iban a mover a básico dos. Vaya, Carlita, no se preocupe. Igual, si usted quiere participar, participe. Oye, all right. Sí, entiendo algo. <laughs> all right, pero sí, está bien, Carlita. Gracias. Very nice. Mariano, Mariano, ¿qué le pasó ayer, Mariano? We missed you yesterday. ¿Dónde está, Mariano? No pude ayer, teacher. Tuve un contratiempo. All right, ok. <laughs> That's okay, Mariana, lo vamos a creer. A ver, eh, Ana, no sé si tiene algún inconveniente con su cámara, Ana. Roberto, no sé si va de camino, o Ana también. Carlita. Yes, teacher, I, I'm driving. You're driving, okay. All right, thank you. So maybe when you get to your place, then you can turn your camera on. Anita, what about you? In a minute, teacher, sorry. That's fine, thank you. Carla, creo que está ocupada. I think it's at, at her still at her job. Kevin, Oscar, and Claudita. No sé si me ayudan ahí con las cámaras, please. All right. Remember that it, that's one of the, um, the requirements, okay? Okay, Claudia. All right, very good. Kevin, ya lo veo. Ya lo conocí. Hi, Kevin. No lo había conocido. <laughs> very nice. All right. De hecho, la clase fluye mucho mejor si yo los puedo ver. All right, si yo apagara la cámara, sí. Solo saben que yo estoy ahí, pero pues sí, no saben quién soy. All right, so that's not nice, guys. This is better. All right, so we get a better relationship uh, student teacher. All right, so thank you. Okay, guys, so we're going to continue with what we stopped yesterday. And I want right now to 
Eh, talk a little bit about present perfect. That that's what we were talking about yesterday. In los últimos minutos de clase, we started seeing present perfect. All right. So that was where we stopped. Let me see. Um, Evan, what do you remember about what we studied yesterday or what I told you yesterday about present perfect? Pero no me haga trampa, no vea las notas. What do you remember, Evan? I don't remember anything, teacher. <laughs> because... No, aquí lo vimos rápido al final de la clase, me recuerdo. All right. Okay. But uh, I remember it. Uh, we used the, the structure when we used the have or has. Yeah. Was, uh, the verb in gerunds. No, the verb is in past participle. And that's, that's it, no? Yeah. And we use the, the, we can use this sentence only when we refer to the, to try to talk about the one a situation that started in the past and we can use in the future too. Uh, the both, the, the both, uh, the situation this car is, is that is this this sentence para the boy situation all right yes very good Eva. imagine everything that you remember excellent thank you and i can see you nice now very nice thank you all right yes that's pretty much what it is evan all right let me see uh what about bunny what do you remember about present perfect what is it now? I remember the thing that you can use this sentence when you start an action in the past and you will repeat this action in the future. Okay. All right. Okay. Any, thank you, Vanessa. Anybody else that remembers or knows anything about present perfect that wants to share and want to talk to us about it? Any ideas about present perfect? Anybody else? No? All right, interesting. Hmm, Daniel, I'm sure you know Daniel. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, let me remember. Um, the present perfect is where the action is from anything in the past and continue at, at this time. All right. I am... Yeah, very nice. And what else do you remember about it? Mm, it no, I don't remember the, 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 the how say the construction of the, of the, yes, yes, the structure, the structure. yes, yes. All right, mm -hmm. that's okay. All right, very good. Um, I'm going to take attendance in like about two minutes, guys. All right. So hopefully most, um, most of your classmates will be with us already. All right. Very good. So when we talk about present perfect is another tense that we have in English. All right. And this tense, just like your classmates were saying, this tense began on the past or expresses that the action began in the past and is somehow continues into the present and maybe goes into the future as well because we don't know, all right? Whereas when we talk about simple past, the action begun and finished, all right? For example, ¿Quiénes ya cenaron? Levánteme la mano, who had supper already? Yeah? All right, some of you did, lucky you, all right? Very good, thank you. Boy, Kevin? All right, entonces cuando ya comimos, entonces yo digo, I ate. Bueno, I didn't, but you can say, I ate already, or I had supper. Se sentó, cenó, comió y terminó. All right, that's simple past, but not present. Perfect. Kevin, you were going to say something, and then I think Abner was going to say something too. No, no, no. Os dije que levantáramos la mano. Ah, la manita que ya había cenado. Sí, sí. <laughs> All right, Abner, you were going to say the same, the same thing or you had a question? Yes. On no, no. supper. Mm -hmm. 
lucky you. I just finished another class, all right? So I couldn't have supper yet, all right? That's okay. So that is simple past, guys. When the action began in the past and finished in the past, it's already done, it's already finished. But when we talk about uh, present perfect, yes, the action began before in the past, somewhere in the past, but somehow it continues into the present and we don't know if it's gonna happen again, all right? So for example, I can say I have, I have studied English before, all right? Puede ser que esta no sea su primera vez estudiando inglés, que ya haya estudiado, que ya haya estado en otra academia o en esta misma, all right? So you say, ah, oh, yes, I have uh, studied English before, pero por lo que vemos no hemos terminado. Usted no me está diciendo I studied English before and I'm bilingual now, all right? Or I just didn't like it. I just didn't understand it and I quit, all right? That would be a simple past sentence. But when you say, yeah, I have studied English before, all right, or I have studied English, is is a situation that you haven't complete yet. All right, you haven't completed it yet. So that's when we use present perfect. Now, what is the structure? The structure is you're going to use subject plus have or has plus the verbs with past participle. All right, y esa son la tercera columna de sus listas, aquellas que ustedes se pueden super bien desde hace un montón. All right, those are the, those are the verbs, all right? Remember that we have it's regular verbs and we have irregular verbs. Los pasados participios de los verbos regulares son los mismos que el pasado. All right, usted dice worked, worked. Played, played. Danced, danced. Traveled, traveled. It's the same. Past and past participle. But when we talk about irregular verbs, they are different and we need to know them or, si ya nos lo sabemos, we need to remember them. De lo contrario, no vamos a poder usar el presente perfecto de la mejor manera. All right? Ahora, el have y el has is the auxiliary for present perfect. Okay? Quiere decir que como es un tiempo verbal, igual que el simple present, simple past, simple future, present progressive, I can make affirmative sentences, I can make negative sentences, and I can make questions. And if I can make questions, I have to give answers. Yes, no answers, or information questions. Y todo eso vamos a ver ahora para que usted entienda un poquito mejor, recuerde un poquito mejor del presente perfecto y lo pueda aplicar y usar eh, de la mejor forma. Voy a pasar a la asistencia ahorita. All right, veamos, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. All right, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. I'm sorry, teacher, I went to the bathroom. That's okay, Abner, that's okay, thank you. I know you're here. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. All right, Claudita is here. Let's see, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander eh, González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernal. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Thank you, Carlita. Uh, Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Yo, Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Present teacher. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Thank you, Leti. A ver, Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. All right, uh, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Um, Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. A ver, um, here we have Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. 
Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Presente. Thank you. Mayra Rosana Hernández Flores. Ay, Mayra. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Ah, Bismar, you're here. No lo había visto, Bismar. A ver. Um, or Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Anita. Very nice. Okay. All right, guys. So let's continue then here with what we're talking about. Igual recordarles de las cámaras, porfa. Thank you. All right. Sí, gracias, Claudita. Ya la tomé. Ya la tomé la asistencia. No se preocupe. All right, so here we have this, and this is what we were talking about yesterday. All right, so here we have present perfect, okay? Present perfect, this is what we were talking about. We say the action is started, and it goes into the present perfect or the moment of the speaking, which is now. So here it says present perfect simple, talks about actions started in the past, but the action continues, all right? Present perfect, we have affirmative and we have also negative. Obviamente, antes del Javier has, tenemos un sujeto, tenemos un nombre. Yo puedo decir, uh, Walter has, Vane and Rafael have, my parents, my children, I, she, he, it doesn't matter. Depending on the subject, that is the auxiliary you're going to use. All right, if we have all of that. All right, if I say, for example, Walter, then I say Walter, have or has? What am I gonna say? Has. Has, yes, Walter has. After that, yes, I'm going to use what? Yeah, I got you. I got you, teacher. All right, what am I gonna use after have or has? Are you talking in third person? Uh -huh. When you are talking a third person? I'm talking about any person after the have or has, what do I need? A verb. A verb, yes, all right. But which kind of verb? Which has verb do participle. I need? Past participle, thank you, all right. Ahora, tenemos obviamente los ED, que son los regulares, y los otros que ya son los irregulares, and they change completely, ouch. So here we have, guys, we have the negative, haven't and hasn't, all right? Again, antes del haven't or hasn't, tenemos que tener un nombre, un sujeto, un pronombre, all right? So here we have this. And we also have the verb, ya sea irregular o regular, pero pasado participio, all right? That's why, guys, no puedo enfatizar el na, necesitamos aprendernos o recordar los verbos en pasado participio, ¿ok? All right, uh, present, per, uh, present perfect affirmative sentences, we have this one. A ver, uh, Rafael, can you please read the sentence? I have cleaned the win windows. Excellent, I have cleaned the windows, thank you. Um, continue reading the explanation, Kevin, please. The windows were dirty, but they are clean now. Excellent, thank you. All right, let's see the other one. Anna, can you read this other sentence? She has eaten her soup. Yeah, her soup, very nice, thank you. And Domingo, can you read the explanation? Uh, she was? Ah, uh, she was hungry, but when she had her show, she is, is no grief, no. Excellent, all right, when she had her soup. All right, very good, she isn't hungry now. Okay, so these are affirmative sentences. We have negative. Ever, can you read the first negative sentence, please? Okay. 
He hasn't made his bed. He hasn't made his bed. All right. Daniel, can you read the explanation? He got up, up his bed is in tidier. Tidy. Tidy. All right. Yes. Tidy. Nice. Thank you. Carla Vanessa, can you please read the following sentence? We haven't drunk coffee. Excellent. We haven't drunk coffee. Mariano, the explanation. We we are still sleepy because we drank no coffee. All right. Oh, you say, oh, no, I haven't drunk coffee. Todavía se siente así como medio dormido o dormida. All right. Question. And you have a headache. All right. A ver. Um, Abner, the following question, please. Okay. Has he done his homework? Excellent. Thank you. All right. Let me see here. Uh, Oscar, no sé si puede participar ahorita. Maybe not. Okay. All right. Uh, Trini, can you participate right now? Yes. Okay. All right. Can you read the second question? Have you read the book? Have you read the book? All right. Very good. So those are the questions. Usted se fija aquí. The questions, as always in English, all right, we need the auxiliary first, all right? We need the auxiliary, y obviamente va a depender de quién estamos preguntando, o sobre quién, has or have. Lo que es importante es that we are going to use the auxiliary at the beginning of the question. Now, a ver, voy a dejar de compartir here. Usted va a decidir si me, la contesta, me contesta una de estas dos en afirmativo o en negativo. A ver, Carla Vanessa, ha, hold on, give me a second. Has he, vamos a hacer la misma que teníamos en pantalla. Has he done his homework? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Thank you, Carla. And if it would be negative, um, Okay, Oscar, no se preocupe. A ver, and if it would be negative, Mariano, what would be the answer? No, he isn't. He isn't or he hasn't, Mariano? He hasn't. He hasn't, yes. All right. Very yes, it's very. No, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Next question was, ah, uh, let's see. Um, Kevin, have you read the book? Kevin, your mic is off. Your microphone. No, I have it. Have it. You have it. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, let me see. Rafael, have you read the book in affirmative, Rafael? Hey, Rafael, your mic is off. Also. Okay. Repeat the sentence, please. Yes. The question is: Have you read the book? Have you read the book? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. ¿Cómo vamos a contestar, yes. Rafael? If I yes. say, have you read the book? Repeat and read. Have you read the book? Es la que está en la pantalla. Ahorita se la comparto. A ver. All right, Rafael, is this one. Have you read the book? Okay. Yes, I read it. Ah, okay. All right, veamos. Okay, something that we need to remember, guys, and this has been said since like basic levels, all right? Cuando, o una clave, por decirlo así, una clave for you to remember how to answer, tenemos que poner mucha atención al inicio de la pregunta. Si en la pregunta usted escucha do you, usted va a contestar con yes, I do, o con no, I don't. Si en la pregunta usted escucha will she, usted va a contestar yes, she will, or no, she won't, or she will not. Si usted... Teacher, I'm sorry. Because when you asked me, I thought that you are... Uh... You ask me if I if I read the book, right? 
right here. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's okay, but you answered correctly, Kevin. No, you okay, that's why. Yeah, you were okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you were okay. great. Thank you. All right. Si quiero repetir, por favor, en mi caso nuevamente lo que nos acaba de decir, please. Sí, sí. Eh, les estaba diciendo que en inglés es como bien fácil eh, cuando usted pone atención y escucha la pregunta, Jorge, Jorge y todos y todas, usted escucha con qué um, auxiliar inicia esa pregunta. Si la pregunta empieza con tú, su respuesta, ya sea afirmativa o negativa, tiene que llevar el tú de alguna forma. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, do you live in Santa Ana? Y usted me va a decir, yes, I do. Do you work in Sonsonate? Y si no fuese así, usted me dice, no, I don't. Ok, si yo le digo, will you eh, come to San Salvador? Yes, I will. El mismo auxiliar usted lo ocupa dentro de su respuesta. Respuestas de sí o no. Ok, si yo le digo, los que como ya vimos el pasado anteriormente, si yo le digo, ever did you go to um, Honduras? Ever me va a decir, yes, I did. Sí, fue. Si no, me diría, no, I didn't. Lo mismo sucede con el have, lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Si yo pregunto, have you, read the book, la pregunta con la que estábamos trabajando, have you read the book? Usted me va a contestar con, yes, I have. Si ya lo ha leído. Y si no, me va a decir, no, I haven't. ¿Ok? Entonces, contestamos con auxiliar. En este momento, en este tiempo verbal, que es el presente perfecto, el auxiliar es have y ya no se traduce como tener. Como verbo normal, si usted dice I have a boyfriend, I have a computer, I have two cars, I have a baby, I have a wife, usted tiene muchas cosas. Eso es como verbo, pero como auxiliar ya no se traduce tener. Es un auxiliar nada más. ¿Ok? Yes. Entonces tenemos que tener eso bien claro. ¿Cómo vamos a contestar? Si usted escuchó que la pregunta era por decirle, has Leti fed the baby? All right. Entonces, si nosotros ya sabemos, por decir algo, que Leti ya le dio de comer a su bebé, eh, nosotros vamos a decir, yes, Leti has. O oh, yes, she has. En el caso que no le ha dado de comer todavía, decimos no, she hasn't. O no, Letty hasn't. No podemos poner otra cosa. All right, porque estamos hablando del presente perfecto y contestamos con el auxiliar que oímos. That's why it's very important to listen when you are being asked a question. No sé si vamos bien hasta ahí con esto del presente perfecto y la forma de contestar. Ahorita en corto y en sí o no. All right. I don't know if you guys have any questions. Michelle. Yes, Domingo. Uh, comentaste de la respuesta en la, cuando tomamos la auxiliar do para preguntas. Uh -huh. eh, decíamos, yes, I do. Es que es como decir en español, sí, lo hice, va. De hecho. ¿Qué sería? De hecho, domingo es nada más decir sí. Es como sí. Nada ah, más decir sí. De hecho, todo... ah, ah, estaba perdido, estaba teniendo mal concepto, entonces estaba equivocado. Por eso es que quizás no, no entendíamos bien esto. Sí. Porque yo traía eso desde los anteriores, como que decir, como tú es hacer, ¿va? Claro. Traía eso que decía, yes, I do, sí lo hice. ¿va? Porque el verbo en inglés se pega a, a como que dice, como en español decir yo, sí lo hice, ¿va? Claro. Entonces, si usted dice que solo se refiere como, como auxiliar, como darle una fuerza al, al yes, Ajá, creo exacto. que sea, así sería, como darle una fuerza al yes de que sí, de la acción que he hecho. Entonces, aquí sería lo mismo, entonces, yes, I have, darle una fuerza al yes, exacto. igual al no. Exacto. Oh, ok, ah, pues estaba bien confundida en eso. De hecho, Domingo, es súper bueno lo que usted está diciendo porque nosotros tendemos a, a traducir todo. ¿Verdad? Pero el yes I do es simplemente es un sí. O no mm, I don't no. es un simple no. Igual que okay. yes I have o no I haven't. Es sí o no. ¿Ha leído el libro? Sí. ¿Ha leído el libro? No. ¿Ha ido a no. Honduras? Sí. ¿Ha ido a Argentina? No. Entonces, yes I have, no I haven't. Y solo cuando mm. lo queremos traducir, solo lo traducimos como sí o como no. 
All right, Domingo. Y como respuesta larga sería igual como lo normal, ¿va? Como, como estábamos las respuestas en, en, con el dúo, sería aquí, yes, I, ha, I, have, a, I have read Exacto. the book. Sí, muy respuesta bien. larga. Exacto, muy bien. Solo que usando el verbo en pasado participio. Que en este caso, por ejemplo, yo le pregunto, have you read ah. the book? Usted me dice, yes, I have read the book. No me dice okay. read the book, ¿verdad? Por eso es importante los pasados participios para las respuestas largas. All right. O oh, oraciones afirmativas. Uh -huh. O sea, teacher, que, que el, el have se ocupa para presente o para pasado par, participio. Para, o el, el... para presente perfecto, Carlita. Uh -huh. Se ocupa ese tiempo, ese tiempo, eh, obviamente tenemos otros tiempos, ¿verdad? Pero en este tiempo, el presente perfecto, vamos a ocupar los pasados participios, que son la tercera y, columna de los verbos. Uh -huh. Y el has, ¿cuándo se ocupa? Ah, para terceras personas, Carla, o sea, él, ella o esto. Por ejemplo, si yo voy a decirle algo de Daniel, del compañero Daniel, yo le digo, Daniel ha tomado un entrenamiento. He has... ¿Verdad? Porque es tercera persona, él. No estoy hablando de mí, no estoy hablando de usted, no estoy hablando de nosotros o de ellos, estoy hablando de él, Daniel. So, entonces decimos, Daniel has taken a training. All right? Entonces cuando hablamos de, de él o de ella o de esto, Carla, usamos has. Si hablamos de I, you, we, they, usamos have. Okay. Ajá. Y luego el pasado participio que corresponda. ¿Ok? Ok. Es una carrera muy nice. Ya ve, ya ve. Algo va a aprender, yo sé. Very nice. Ok, ¿alguien más? Any other question? All right, ok. No questions whatsoever. Hmm. Give me one. Let's see. No, ¿sabe qué? Deme un ratito. Voy a escribir unas, unas um, oraciones acá. And then I want you to answer those questions. In the meantime, all right, while I'm doing these questions for you, I want you to make four sentences. All right. Usted decida si su oración va a ser afirmativa, si va a ser negativa, si va a ser pregunta. Lo que yo quiero es que esté en presente perfecto. Four sentences. Trate de variar con el has o el have, pero quiero cuatro. Si es negativo, positivo, pregunta, usted vea. All right. En lo que yo estoy haciendo preguntas y luego eh, intercambiamos ahí lo que hicimos. All right. Escríbanlas, por favor. ¿Entendimos lo que vamos a hacer? No. Teacher, yes. Tal vez nos dice otra vez, teacher, aquí está lloviendo fuerte, no alcancé a comprender. Ahorita voy. Ah, sí. Eh, Jorgito, lo que decía es que quiero que me escriban cuatro oraciones usando el presente perfecto, Jorge. Usted decide si las va a ser afirmativas, negativas o pregunta, como usted quiera. Thank you, teacher. Uh, just to confirm, 10 uh, sentences, that's correct? Uh, four sentences, any type of sentence, affirmative, negative, or question in present perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much.
All right, are you guys ready with the sentences or not yet? You need more time. Have you finished? No, teacher. All right, okay, that's fine. Let me know when you guys are finished, please. I already finished. Thank you, Avner. Who else is finished? Daniel, you're done? Mm, yes, teacher, but only uh, question. I I will uh, explain me again about the uh, about the uh, how say no question uh, no question paragraph. Okay. Uh, and, uh, no, no, entendido lo de las preguntas, pero las las oraciones. Eh, afirmativas, eso tiene que con un refuerzo. Ok, ya lo vamos a ver, Daniel. Por favor. Thank you. Thank you. Ana, thank you. Ya vi el mensaje. Very nice. Anybody else? Leti, finish. Kevin, Jorgito, Domingo, Walter, Bismar, Mariano. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. I done. Thank you. Very nice. Ok. Carla Vanessa, you're finished also? Yes. Perfect. Okay, very nice. Before we do your your sentences or before we check your sentences, te, quiero que dejen de hacer lo que están haciendo and let's look at these questions. Las que yo hice todas son preguntas. A ver. So question number one, ya se las voy a hacer. Have you taken English classes before? Have they spoken to you about it? Has Andrea been in class? Have her children picked up their toys? Has his boss contacted new employees? Have you listened to this song before? Has she painted again? All right, so these are the questions that we have here, okay? Voy a dejar de compartir en un segundo. Les voy a tomar foto yo nada más. Ahorita nadie más tomándole foto eso. All right, les voy a dejar de compartir and wait. Done, all right, we are going to answer these questions. A ver, volunteer number one. Volunteer number one, who wants to volunteer? Thank you, Thank you, Bismar. All right, Bismar, have you taken English classes before? Sorry? Have you taken English classes before? No, teacher. Ah, all right. Okay. No, 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 I, no, I haven't. Excellent, Bismar. Thank you. Me salvo la noche. Very nice. A ver, volunteer number two. I want to do it. Okay, Kevin. Uh, Kevin is number two. Avner, you're number three. Kevin, okay. 
¿Dónde está Kevin? No lo veo. Ahí está. Um, Kevin, have they spoken to you about it? Yes, I have it. Again, Kevin, have they spoken to you about it? Yes, I have. Mm. All right, pero mi pregunta es, have they spoken to you about it? Have they? Spoken to you about it. Have they spoken to you about it? Mm, I don't uh, I don't understand the question, teacher. All right, no se preocupe. Véalo en el chat, lo voy a poner ahí para todos. Ese igual estaba ahí, pero no importa. Have you, I mean, have they, perdón. Have they spoken to you about it? Esa es mi pregunta. Have they spoken to you about oh, it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, they they haven't. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you. Nice. All right. Abner, number three. Hmm? Uh, has Andrea been in class? Has Andrea uh, been in class? Andrea, yes, Andrea has uh, has been in class. All right. Yes, Andrea has been in class. Very nice. Thank you, Abner. Volunteer number four. Volunteer four. A la una, si no escojo. Excellent, Ever. Very nice. Let's see. Um, Ever, have her children picked up their toys? Repeat again, please. Yes. Have their children picked up their toys? Yes, they haven't. Yes, they haven't. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Very nice. Yes, they have. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Volunteer number five, a la una. Volunteer number five. Excellent, Vane. Very nice. Let's see. Vanessa, has his boss contacted new employees? Yes, he has. Ah, all right. Very nice. Thank you. Volunteer number six. With the chair. Excellent, Jorgito. Very nice. I like that. Um, Jorge, have you listened to this song before? Uh, no, I no I hasn't. No, I has I hasn't. No, I has no I hasn't. Not. Okay. All right. No, sería Jorgito. No, I haven't. Acuérdese que have es para I. ¿Verdad? No, I haven't. Okay. Excellent, Jorge. Very nice. The last volunteer. Volunteer at one. Volunteer at two. Volunteer at one. Excellent, Mr. Daniel. Thank you. Daniel, has she painted again? Yes, she has. Ah, all right. Very good. Okay. Very nice, guys. Entonces, estamos jugando con yes, no questions ahorita. All right, pero ya vamos a, a, a entrar en el give me more information. All right, veamos. Vamos a escoger alguien. Eh, voy a escoger yo de los que no participaron ahorita para que me enseñen sus oraciones o me digan sus oraciones. All right, a ver. Um, Walter, de las cuatro, escoja dos. Dígame las dos, por favor. My dad has woken up early every day. Oh, all right, very good. Second sentence. My car has been present problem frequently. My car has, okay, my car has presented problems maybe, Walter? Okay. Yeah, has presented problems, okay? Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Rafael, two sentences, Rafael. Okay. Have you run every day? And in the answer, uh, yes, I have. Okay. And number two, have you drink good water? Uh, ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de drink, Rafael? Drunk. Excellent. All right. Corríjalo ahí si lo escribió con drink. Very nice. Thank you. Vanet, yeah. 
Ah, okay, go ahead, go ahead, Rafael. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I'm sure uh, no, I haven't. Okay, very nice. Carla, Vanessa, two of your sentences, please. Okay, Maria has cooked the dinner. Okay. And he has worked all day. Very good. Carla, hágame un favor, quítele el artículo da a dinner. Ah, ok. María has cooked dinner. Excellent. Very nice. Porque de lo contrario es bien en español. La cena. All right. Yes. Very good, Carlita. Very nice. Thank you. Leti, two sentences. Mm, I haven't completed the platform. Espero que solo sea un ejemplo, Leti. I have to start a new uh, a new training about my work. Okay. About my job. Yes, that's okay, Leti. A ver, complete. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de complete, Leti? Complete. Complete. Ajá, complete, ¿no? Estaba bien, porque termina. Sí. All right. Y la otra, recuerden. Start. Start. It started, ¿verdad? Con, eh, eh, it started. Y, yes. All right. Very nice. Thank you, Leti. Uh, Mayra, can you tell me two sentences? Mayra, ¿está por ahí? All right. Ana, tell me two sentences. Okay. Uh... Have you lose have you lose your keys? Okay. Yes, I have. And has Pedro choose this the shirt? Yes, he has. Okay. Anna, what is the past participle of lose? Lose it? Nope. Uh, lost. Lost, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, that's fine. Thank you. Very good. All right, uno más que no haya participado hasta ahorita. Mariano, what happened, Mariano? <laughs> ah, nunca me escapo. Never. Okay, two sentences. Yes. Um, I have just finished my exam. Okay. And... I have work, worked in this office since January. Since, January. Since January, okay. All right, since January. Very good, Mariano, very mm. nice. Okay, very good. Entonces, voy a retomar ahorita. Eh, Daniel nos pedía como retroalimentar para hacer oraciones. En afirmativo y negativo era Daniel. Yes, teacher, I have uh, one sentence. I don't know if, if it's correct. Okay. My, my son has two years old. Mm -hmm. No. ¿Y la otra? No, no, the other, the other is, uh, is a question. Has Claudia finished the lesson? Okay, finished, lo ha puesto con ED. No, finished. 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 Está bien la pronunciación, finished. Solo que la escritura tiene que llevar ED, ¿verdad? Ok. Ahora, en la Thank primera you. oración que usted hizo de, de su hijo, uh -huh. eh, acuérdese que has en este contexto ya no es tener, Daniel. All right. Una yeah. cosa es, yo okay. digo, I have a computer, ¿verdad? Esa es una yeah. cosa. Y otra cosa es decir, I have had a computer. Yo he tenido. El presente perfecto para nosotros es el E o el A. Yo he ido, ella ha estudiado, nosotros hemos practicado. Uh, Vanessa ha terminado la plataforma bien rápido, Vanessa Naomi. Excellent, thank you. All right, entonces eso, I'm just kidding, I'm just using that as an example. All right, so, ese es el, el presente perfecto, have or has, Daniel, para nosotros es e o a. All right. Okay. Entonces decimos, I have done. Yo he hecho tal cosa. 
tiempo yo no he hecho tal cosa. All right, entonces, for affirmative sentences, uh, Daniel, I'm just going to share my screen here. I mean, my... my, my yes. Eh, bien. En tercera persona sería A. Entonces. Sí, ella A y el A. Sí. Ajá, eh, my sentence, eh, por ejemplo, mis mi oraciones era I haven't gone, I work. Y Ajá. I haven't take, taken the tour. Ok, yes, I have gone to work. Ok, ese sí. Por ejemplo, entonces, esa es la estructura, Daniel. El sujeto, el auxiliar que, el auxiliar que le corresponde al sujeto, luego el verbo en pasado participio y luego el complemento o el predicado. Ok, ¿por qué have? Porque hablo de I. Lo que decía Domingo podría ser eh, she has taken her tools. All right. Entonces, ¿qué ha hecho ella? Se ha llevado o ha tomado las herramientas, sus herramientas. All right, Daniel. Entonces, esa sería la estructura. Subject, auxiliary have or has. The past participle and then the complement. These are affirmative sentences. Daniel, las mismas oraciones, la primera oración, páseme la negativa. La primera, la primera eh, sería, I haven't go to work. I haven't gone. I haven't gone to work. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone to work. She hasn't taken her tools. All right, very good. Entonces, con lo que vamos a trabajar aquí, Daniel, Daniel y todos, obviamente, es el auxiliar y el pasado participio. Nada más. Okay. Right. Yes. So this is how you make affirmative or negative sentences. Yes, Daniel. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. I'm going to stop sharing. All right, guys. Okay. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I'm going to... Teacher. Hola. Yes. Alguien me dijo teacher, no sé si fue a uh, Vanesita. All right. En lo que ella regresa por acá. Give me a second, guys. I'm just going to take this. All right. Voy a mandar la foto. Voy a mandar esta imagen al grupo ahorita. All right. Con las mismas preguntas que les hice a los primeros seis voluntarios o siete voluntarios, ya me contestaron con yes or no. All right. Por ejemplo, la primera era, have you taken English classes before? Les voy a poner la, no la obligación, pero en este caso todas van a ser sí. Todas son sí, porque si me dicen no, pues ya no hay nada que decir. Y lo que quiero es que sigan hablando. All right, entonces no me hagan trampa, no me decir no, 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 a todo. All right, entonces, por ejemplo, have you taken, a, have you taken English classes before? Y como ya dijimos que yes, usted decir yes, I have. Y va a seguir usted y me va a decir, I have taken English at Prolingua, I have taken English at UCA, I have taken English at Academia Europea, I have taken English at uh, Don Bosco University, donde sea. Open English if you want, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's true or false. I just want you to keep on talking. Number two, have they spoken to you about it? Yes, they have. Y me continúa diciendo de qué le hablaron o qué le dijeron ellos. Voy a mandar la, las um, preguntas ahorita y lo vamos a resolver en los grupos. Ok, asegúrese y recuerde de hacerlo en la computadora para ver y revisar. ¿De acuerdo? Yes, guys. Yes. Yes, right. sure. Nos vamos Thank a los grupos. Eh, voy a tomar asistencia igual cuando regresemos. Um, diez minutos y regresamos. Pero igual yo lo saco. Los que no pueden participar eh, se quedan acá para poder yo ver quién sí está ahí para que sus compañeros no estén solitos o solitas. 
en el bus. All right, let's go. Si no puede participar, please stay here, guys. Vane, Vanesita. Vane, can you participate? Pane, ¿me escucha? Yes, teacher. Perdón que se me trabó la computadora. No se preocupe, Vane. A ver, la voy a mandar a un grupo, Vane. Oye. No, ya, ya me cargó. Dice uniéndose a la, a la sala 2. Ah, ok. Thank you. Bueno.
day. All right, guys, I think everybody's back here. All right, let's see. I'm going to check group one. And we had Domingo and Carlita and Claudia. No sé si pudieron trabajar Domingo en e con ellas. Domingo, can you, did you work with your classmates? Yes, con Claudia. Okay, all right, a ver. Uh, uh, the, si gusta, no, uh, bueno, si gusta, comparta, déjeme. Teacher, when I was in the group, uh, I couldn't share my, my screen. I don't know why. That's because I didn't allow you to. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, don't sorry. worry. Siempre que pase eso, recuérdeme. Ya no está Johnny para recordarme. El otro compañero. Yes. <laughs> John is not how is not here to remember. I know. Sorry, <laughs> pero igual ustedes me pueden recordar. Okay. Ahorita lo que quiero evitar, Domingo, dígame. Ah, uh, lo único que no logramos terminar fue lo que damos hasta llegamos donde está la de Andrea. Vaya, no importa. Okay. Se logra ver. Have you taken uh, English classes before? Yes, I have taken English classes. Uh, and in support, la preposición at le hace falta ahí nada más. Very nice. Have they spoken uh, before it? At. Yeah. Uh, sí. at. Uh, yes, I have spoken spoken to you about this sport. Está bien. Mm, a ver esa... Eh, Have they, acuérdense que estamos haciendo una pregunta sobre ellos, no sobre usted. Have they spoken to you about it? Uh, aquí tendría que haber sido they. Exacto. Ok, no. Yes. Ok, Claudita, no se preocupe. Yes, they have spoken to me. Spoken to me. Y quítele el it y deje el sport. No, con e. Con e, Domingo. Uh -huh. Me, about, y sport, le quite sport. No, quítele it. Uh -huh. About sports, con ese sports. Uh, sports, yes. ¿Sí? Has Andrea been in class? Yes, Andrea has been in class. Okay, all right, okay, that's fine, thank you. Let's go. Yeah, on. A media sí, no se preocupe. A ver, Carlita, Carla, Vanessa, Leticia, and Vanessa, Noemi. Can you girls share so I can see your answers? Mm, yes, teacher. Give me a second. Okay. All right. Yes, I have taken English classes before at Academia Europea. Yes, they have spoken to me about a new project. Yes, Andrea has been in class because she's very responsible. Yes, her children have picked up their toys in the case. All right. Yes, his boss contacted new employees because the company has new vacancies. Oh, nice. Nice sentences. All right. Nice. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Excellent. Let's see group three. Trini, Daniel, and Kevin. Esteban. Okay, teacher. Uh, we don't have computer, but we don't uh, have writer. Script a mano. <laughs> yeah, you have. Uh, you did it, Henry. Uh, I, I take a picture. Yes. Yes, I have taken English class in the European Academy. Okay. The number two, yes, they have spoken to me about the problem in their work. Okay. 
Number three, yes, she, she has been in class of English class. I don't know. Okay. Yes. Number four, yes, they have picked up their toys and put up the box. Okay. Yeah, and number five, yes, she has contacted new employee for this month. Okay. Number six, yes, I have listened to this song at the radio. Okay. And seven, yes, she has painted the new picture. Excellent, thank you. Quiero ver las primeras, Daniel. Yes, okay. yes, yes, I have taken English. Uh, English class. English. Okay. Acuérdense que Academia Europea es nombre propio y se llama Academia Europea. Ah, okay. Academia Europea. Aquí en China. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, they okay. have spoken to me about the problem in their work. Workplace sería okay. ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, podría. Podría mejorarla poniéndole así, pero está bien. Yes, okay. Andrea has... No, es la segunda. Ah, la segunda. Yes, she has been in class. Oh, en, en, o sea, que estamos confirmando que ella está en la clase, pero en la clase en inglés. Yeah, she has been in class. Uh -huh. Sí, podríamos ponerle, yes, yeah, she has been in class, punto, she has been in her English class. In her English class, okay. Yes, they have picked up their toys and put them in the box. In the box. Put, in la put caja. them in the box, okay. Put them in the box, ok ya lo corregí a mano <ríe> bueno eh, okay, thank you. Yeah, ya los demás están bien ok thank you a ver, let's go with the other group guys, please Jorge Carla, Michelle Mayra, and Bismar. no sé quiénes lograron trabajar ahí Uy, it's raining again. A ver. Ay, what happened? Se me, se me <laughs> desconectó. That's okay. Ahora sí. Um, have you taken English classes before? Yes, I had English class a year, a year ago in the Francisco Gavidia University. But I cannot finish that course. All right, hagamos la dos. Have they spoken to you about it? No, they haven't spoken about it, and I don't want the sub. <laughs> okay, very nice. Yes, she has. Andrea is a girl very responsible with her, with her classes. Okay. And yes, they have picked up their, their toys. She punished them if they don't. Okay. A ver, veamos la primera. Eh, allí le hace falta. Yes, I have taken. ¿Verdad? Porque si no, si dejamos nada más el have, es, es tener. Yes, I have taken English class a year ago. Uh, in, quítele el da. Y solo déjale Francisco Gavidia University, but I couldn't, pero no pude terminar. I could not finish the course. All right. En la tres, la dos está bien. En la tres, yes, she has. Andrea is a very responsible girl. El girl, but it's by the responsible. It's a very responsible girl. Uh huh. Ahora, el adjetivo posesivo tiene que ser her, porque es de su clase, su de ella, no su de él. Quítale el his y ponga el her. Ok. Ok, la última, yes, they have picked up their toys. She punishes con es. Con ese. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Nice. Thank you. 
All right, veamos aquí, we have another group here. Abner, Ever, and Rafael, y después va Anita, Mariano, and Walter. Hoy okay, va... teacher. <laughs> we can roll the, the, uh, the sentences and we can share the, the, the the slash in the in the screen, but we put in some ideas about this. But uh, the first one: Have you taken English classes before? And we put in yes, I have. I have taken taking classes in Don Bosco University for three models. Oh, okay. Number two: uh, Have they spoken to you about it? And yes, I have. They have spoken about the soccer game that everyone told during the moon. Yes. And number three, has Andrea been in class? Yes, she has. She has been in class for two hours. Oh, nice. Okay. And number four, uh, what is, uh, have her children pick up their toys? And see that. See, yes, they have children pick out their toys on time before going home. Oh, okay. Number five. Yes, has he bought contact new employees? Uh, yes, he has. My boss contacted new employees because we have work a lot for the season. Oh, nice. Um, the next one, have you listened? Have you listened to this song before? And yes, I have. I have listened to this song. I love the lyrics. Oh, I love lyrics. I love the lyrics. I love the lyrics. Okay. And the last one, has she painted again? Yes, she has. She has painted because the wall was dirty. Oh, nice. A ver, Ever, eh, solo asegúrese de la pronunciación con los EDs. All right, painted. ¿Cuál era la otra, Ever? Quiero ver. Listened y contacted. Esas tres. Además, contacted. Contacted, ajá. Listen. Es que yo, lo, yo lo pronuncio con it, contacted. Pero es, 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 ed, es contacted, es, contacted. 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 Okay, okay, perfect, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry, guys, it's raining very hard. Let's do the last group, Ana, Mariano, and Walter. We only wrote the and the first. Are you taking English class before? Me and Mariano uh, answered yes, I had taken class in Centro Cultural Salvadoreño Americano. Second question Have they spoken to your public? I answered. Yes, they have spoken about the different culture of USA. Mariano, can you continue? All right, Mariano. Or Anna. I'm sorry, I, I'm back. Uh, has Andrea been in class? Yes, she has been in class. They need it for you hate it for his exam. Have her children pick up their toys? Yes, they have because they need go to go to sleep. Has his boss contacted a new employers? Yes, uh, he has for a new group. Are you listening to this song before? 
Yes, I have in the radio. Has she painted a game? Yes, she has painted a new picture for his job. All right, guys, thank you for those um, sentences. I mean, answers and everything. All right, I want you, I want to go back to the book right now. Uh, okay. Let's go here, guys. Quiero terminar esto primero. Eh, la tarea de ahora, la tarea 3, si la intenta hacer, o sea, usted la puede intentar hacer y todo, pero ese tema lo vamos a ver mañana porque necesitaba te terminar con esto el presente perfecto. Ahora, right, entonces no se preocupe, mañana vemos el tema que le corresponde para la tarea 4, perdón. Hoy es que 10 ahora, no 3. Ahora, right, hoy es miércoles, ¿cierto? Ahora, right, la tarea 3 que le corresponde ahora. Es, un, es el tema que vamos a ver mañana. Quería yo terminar esto del presente perfecto ahora. Entonces, no se preocupe. Igual vamos, vamos bien. All right, let's do this conversation, guys, on page 12. All right, we have here Alejandro Andal. A ver, um, Pismar, can you be Alejandro, please? Uh, let me see. Mariano, can you be that? Okay, Dad, I be desire desire to launch the new the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chickens, etc. Come on. Gentlemen, have you lost your mind? But that our client love every single product we we have come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. You say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it's go going work, you're probably probably right. All right, thank you. All right. Let's see, Carla Vanessa. Uh, let me see. Daniel, can you read that? Carla Vanessa, can you be Alejandro? And Daniel, can you be that? Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Uh, Dad, I have decided to launch uh, the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, you men. Have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we have come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think is it is going to work, you are probably right. All right, thank you. Para los que tienen el manual impreso, háganme un favor. En la última línea del tag, if you think it's going to work, póngale el to. Si lo tienen impreso, póngale ahí el to. Al final. All right, very nice. Let's see. Thank you, Vanessa. And thank you, Daniel. Let me see here. What about Kevin? Kevin, ¿está por ahí? Yes, I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. I want you to be Alejandro. All right. Okay. And let me see here. Rafael, can you be that? Okay. Right. Okay, Alejandro. Uh, that I have I I've decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. 
it's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. I don't know who is that. Rafael. Okay. 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 Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fry, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we have. We are we come we've come we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about it's about time for a product line extensions in time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having too much work. I think I'm not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you are probably right too. If that's okay, teacher. Yeah, that's fine. All right, very good. A ver, veamos entonces. So here we have, Dad, I've decided, si se fija, esta que está acá es una, es the contraction of the present perfect. I have, pero decimos, I've decided, I've decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fry, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But dad, our clients love every single product we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want you to hear, I'm sorry, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I'm not going, I'm not, and I'm not working overtime. <laughs> if you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay? A ver. Revisemos vocabulario, revisemos pronunciación. Hay algo que le queda duda. Hola? Yeah, teacher, I want to know how to pronounce the, the contractual we have. Like, for example, in the part of the Alejandro, mm -hmm. and we have come up with. With? with it's come up just with. with? Yes. We come up with. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Teacher, what we've come up with means. Ah, all right. Okay. La expresión come up with, everything that we have come up with is con todo lo que, nos, lo que hemos tenido. All right. Con todo lo que nos ha, se nos ha ocurrido en otras palabras. Ajá. Podría repetir esa parte que está lloviendo, no escucho muy bien. Eh, donde le dijo eh, la pregunta que le hizo la compañera, ¿qué significaba? A ver, dice, but that our clients love every single product we have come up with. Nos hay, los clientes han amado todos los productos con los que hemos, con los que tenemos, se nos ha ocurrido, con los que um, hacemos. All right, es como una expresión que se puede aplicar como para varias cosas. Yo le puedo decir de repente, ajá, Bismar, what have you come up with? ¿Con qué ha, sal con qué ha salido ahora, Bismar? ¿Con qué, qué, qué tiene ahora? All right. Entonces, es una expresión como bien variable en ese sentido. Ok, anybody else? The expression is, we come up with. ¿A dónde está, Domingo? Ahí está la misma, dice, la pronuncia, sí. Is we come, we come. We've with. come up with. We've come up with. Come up with. Así es. Yes. We come up with. That's right. Mm. All right. Veamos esta expresión que dice dar aquí abajo. If you say so, do you understand that expression, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Understand. Uh huh. Okay. 
if you say so, I believe you. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so very nice. Anything else? What about this one? I think it's about time. Do you guys understand that? Pienso que ya es hora. Yeah, es ella. I think it's about time. All right. Pienso que ya es el momento, que ya es hora de hacer otra cosa, de expandir, o bla, bla, bla. Very nice, yes. All right, let's go on here, guys, with this. Uh, number three says discuss the answers uh, to the questions below. Number one, what are Alejandro and his father talking about? Is Alejandro's dad enthusiastic about his son's suggestion? Have they both come up, I mean, come to an agreement about the expansion of the product line? Estas tres la van a contestar basado en la conversación. And se van a ir para la página 13. All right, lo tienen ya en su, vi que lo volvieron a poner en el grupo. All right, si en caso no lo tiene, ahí está. I want you to work in this. Vuelva a leer esta información que es sobre el presente perfecto y cómo se estructura y luego terminamos este ejercicio 5. All right, entonces, ejercicio 3 de la página 12. Lean el el, la información del ejercicio 4 y luego complementamos acá con presente perfecto. All right, guys. Creo que nos alcanza el tiempo para trabajar en eso. De acuerdo, igual los vuelvo a mandar a los grupos, los que no pueden ir a sus grupos se quedan por acá. Teacher, what time do we have? Um, 10 minutes? Maybe a little bit more. Okay, thank yeah, you. Like about 15. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Claudia and Oscar, no sé si ya pueden participar o todavía no. Yes, teacher. Ok, Claudita, ¿con quién estaba? ¿Se recuerda? Eh, con Domingo. Es que lo que pasó es que en ese momento tuve problemas con el internet y me salí, me sacó el sitio. Ah, ok, ahorita lo mando. Ok. Ya lo mandé, Claudita. Oscar, no sé si ya puede participar o todavía no.
Did you finish, Daniel? Yes, teacher. We finish. Very nice. Long time. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi, teacher. All right. Let's see, guys. Let's work on these ones right now. Number one, it says, what are Alejandro and his father talking about? Can someone tell me what they're talking about? Okay, they talking about uh, one to launch a new product line. Ah, to launch a new product line. Very good. Anybody else? Any other answer that you have for that one? For number one. They think about uh, it's time to open the, the new branch. Okay. Oh. Opening a new branch, very good. Yeah. Okay, alguien más, anybody else to tell me about number one? Any other ideas? No? That is something like the, the, the or call the partner teacher, uh, they have a talk to, uh, to the branch, the launch for the company by capture uh, more customers. Okay. Perfect, thank you. What about number two? Is Alejandro's dad enthusiastic about his son's suggestion? Anybody? Anybody. What do you guys think? Alejandro does uh, feel uh, scared because uh, he doesn't want to hear Alejandro complain about having so much work. And as well, um, he, he doesn't work in overtime. That's right. He doesn't want to work overtime, right? All right. Let's see. What about number three? Anybody else? Have they both come to an agreement about the expansion of their product line? Yes, they have agreement. Okay, well then, they have agreed? The dance, the Alejandro dance, don't want a, a complaint for a hard work. Very good. All right, now at the end of the day, guys, for number three, what do you guys have? Do they come up with an agreement, yes or no? No. No? Okay. No, because Alejandro say, say yes and Alejandro's dad uh, not. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's work on this one right here. Vamos a hacer hasta la tres y dejamos cuatro, cinco, seis para mañana. Uh, a lot of companies. A ver. Uh, Up ground. Up ground. Just give me a second, uh, Kevin. So if someone else can participate right now. Three, okay. Three, number one, please. A lot of companies have grown to um, because of without new product line. Okay, have grown. Thank you. Just like Kevin said, very good. Anna, can you do number two? Anna? All right. What about Vismar? Vismar, can you do number two? I can make this teacher. Excuse me? No, no llegamos hasta ahí. Ah, all right, that's okay. A ver, Carla Vanessa, did you work on number two? Yes. All right. Uh, new members of a product line have attracted new market segments. Excellent, thank you. All right, Jorge, Jorgito, can you do number three? Teacher, estábamos con Bismar y nos quedamos en la dos. Oh, ok, no se preocupe. Mariano, do you have that one? Number three, teacher. Yes. We have decided to expand on our product. Very good. Vamos a dejar cuatro, cinco, seis para mañana. Igual vamos a repetirlas por aquellos que no lograron terminar. 
I'm going to take the last attendance, guys. Let's see. Abner Eli Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Adela Trinidad González. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Very nice. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carlita, ok. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Thank you. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. I'm here yet, teacher. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Mayra Roxana Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Thank you, Ana. All right, guys, you may go igual. Eh, queda pendiente la tarea 3 porque es el tema que vamos a ver mañana. All right. Eh, avanzamos con eso mañana, así que no se preocupe. Los dejo descansar. Claudita, no sé si se puede quedar un ratito. Los demás se pueden retirar. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye now. Bye. Hi, Claudita. How are you? Hi, teacher. Thank you. Um, teacher, eh, pese que como ya venía en camino, la parte primera que estaba explicando sí. del present perfect, este, tengo duda, ¿verdad? Cuando hace la oración, el how, después dice que va el verbo, y pasado participio, así es. Exacto, sí. Bueno, pasado participio. Y cuando yo respondo, cuando, re, cuando, respond, cuando respondo, digamos, si es la pregunta, igual tengo que hacerlo con el verbo en pasado participio. Si va a contestar con respuesta larga, Claudia, sí. Si va a contestar con respuesta corta, no. Solo usa el auxiliar. Eh, por ejemplo, dice. Ahorita, sí. Le voy a compartir aquí mi, mi pizarra. Deme un segundito. Uh -huh. ah, eh, voy a borrar esas que tenemos acá. A ver, eh, por ejemplo, yo le digo, hagamos una con we. How we finish the class. How we finish the class. All right, esa es mi pregunta. De repente vi que todos se salieron y le pregunto, Claudia, how we finish the class? Y usted me puede decir, yes, yes. we have. Ese es el auxiliar. ¿Verdad? El mismo auxiliar que está en la pregunta. Have you have? Yes, have. have. O podemos decir, yes, we have finished the class. Cualquiera de las dos. Una es respuesta larga, Claudia, y la otra es respuesta corta. Si la vamos a hacer corta, la dejamos nada más con el auxiliar. Yes, we have. Y ahí se acabó. Ya no hacemos más nada. Pero si usted quiere contestarla en forma larga, en forma completa, usted me va a decir, yes, we have, el mismo have que está en la pregunta, más el verbo en pasado participio. Ah, uh, ok. All right. Bye. De la misma. Sí. Dígame, dígame. Uh -huh. No, 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 está bien. Sí, sí, dígame. De la misma forma que yo le puedo decir, has Alejandro, Alejandro, uh, 
taken his medicine. Ahora yo le pregunto, ¿se ha, ¿se ha tomado la medicina a Alejandro? ¿Se ha tomado? ¿Has Alejandro taken his medicine? Y usted me dice, yes, he has. He has. Y no, dice, yes, he has taken, taken his medicine. Ok. Ah, oh, sí. Así se sí. dice estar de forma corta o larga, Claudia. Uh -huh. Bueno, y solo aquí, en esta pregunta que ahorita, porque no las logramos hacer con, con el compañero que estaba en las, esta, para digamos, en los complementos aquí, tengo que usar en las que estamos haciendo ahorita. La del manual. La del manual, vaya. Aquí solo va, aquí tengo que usar el pasado participio. Así es. Permítame, ahorita quiero ver. En la primera que decía, a lot of companies, en esa, Claudia. Ah, sí. Ok, a lot of companies, y usamos el verbo que nos han dado en paréntesis, ¿verdad? Y decimos, have grown. Pero aquí está en, en, en forma base, ¿verdad? En la que está en el, en el manual. El que está en el manual se lo han puesto en forma base para que usted haga la conjugación correcta. Tengo que, que, tengo que aprendérmelo. <risa> sí, claro, que ahí sí nos aprendernos los verbos, exacto. Su forma, ah. su, ajá, de forma, su, su, ya, el pasado participio de cada verbo. Vale. Entonces, cuando nosotros estamos hablando aquí en estas oraciones, o sea, prácticamente lo usamos generalmente cuando estamos hablando. Sí. O en qué momento, o sea, sí, eh, en una conversación común y corriente, usamos así en esta forma. Sí, es como, lo que pasa, Claudia, es que nosotros en español lo usamos mucho, pero no le ponemos atención. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, hey, fíjese, Claudita, que hoy, Ah, ha sido un día largo en el trabajo porque he tenido que hacer muchas planificaciones, he calificado un montón. Ese es el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Se dice, I have had a long day, I had, I mean, I have checked many assignments, I have um, studied a lot. Entonces, sí lo usamos un montón, Claudia. Uh -huh. ah, ok, sí, bueno, entonces es que aquí me había quedado porque como al inicio no escuché bien la clase. Sí, claro. Entonces, uh -huh. Ahorita en estas oraciones, como ya me da el verbo, lo tengo que pasar a pasado participo para hacer la respuesta. Exactamente, Claudia, sí. Ok, teacher, está bien, me voy a ir aprendiéndole. Me alegra <risa> verla. <risa> gracias, a mí también. Sí, entonces, ¿Cómo siguió su papi? Ya, gracias a Dios, ya. Ya bastante mejor, ya está ya en la casita, ya de él, porque realmente lo tenía aquí en ese lapso de la operación y todo. Entonces lo estuve cuidando acá, okay. pero ya que todo mejor, ya está en su casa. Ah, oh, qué bueno, que me alegra, Claudia. Gracias, Tiche. Bueno, está, está bien, descanse, Claudita, la veo mañana. Bye. Bye, Tiche.